এগুলো জানতে হবে ম্যাক্সিমাম অ্যালোয়াবল একজন শেয়ার এখন চারশো বা চারশো বিশ পঁচিশ দিয়ে আসবে তো সেক্ষেত্রে তোমার থ্রি সিক্সটি টু থ্রি এইটি এই এই একজোস্ট টেম্পারেচারে তুমি চালাবে থ্রি হান্ড্রেড টোয়েন্টিতে চালাচ্ছ তার মানে লো একজোস্ট টেম্পারেচারে চালাচ্ছ হ্যাঁ তোমার লস হচ্ছে তোমার আমি যদি ইঞ্জিনটাকে কমে চালাই তাহলে ইঞ্জিনের লাইফটাও চিন্তা করতে হবে এফিসিয়েন্সি চিন্তা করতে হবে এবং বেশি কমে চালাইলে বেশি কমে চালাইলে ফুয়েল ইকোনমি হয় না ইকোনমি ইকোনমিক্যাল স্পিড বলে একটা শব্দ আছে ইকো স্পিড কত থেকে কত আরপিএম থেকে কত আরপিএম তোমার ইকো স্পিড সেটা তোমাকে জানতে হবে ম্যানুয়াল থেকে হুম তো এগুলো তো ইঞ্জিন পৃথিবীতে অজস্র দেশে অজস্র রকম ইঞ্জিন সব তো তুমি মুখস্থ রাখতে পারবা না সব তোমার আমি যেমন তোমার ইঞ্জিনের নামও শুনি নাই দেখিও নাই হ্যাঁ কাজেই তোমাকে এটা প্রত্যেকটা ইঞ্জিনের ইন্ডিভিজুয়ালে তার মেনুয়াল থেকে জেনে নিতে হবে এবং ইঞ্জিনের গায়েও লিখা থাকে ইঞ্জিনের গায়ে যে নেম প্লেট ওখান থেকেও তুমি অনেক কনসেপশন পাবা ওখানে তুমি আজকে তুমি কি বাসায় আছো না জাহাজেই আছো জাহাজে আছি স্যার হ্যাঁ জাহাজে থাকো তোমার জন্য ইঞ্জি তুমি আজকে ক্লাস শেষে যাই দেখবা নেম প্লেটে কত একজোস টেম্পারেচার অ্যালাউ করছে কত জ্যাকেট টেম্পারেচার অ্যালাউ করছে হ্যাঁ কত আরপিএম অ্যালাউ করছে এগুলো দেখবা তারপর মেনুয়াল থেকে দেখবা ইকো স্পিড কোনটা ম্যাক্সিমাম কন্টিনিউয়াস রেটিং কত এগুলো জেনে নিবা জেনে নিয়ে তারপর ইঞ্জিনটাকে অপারেট করো কোনো অসুবিধা হবে না এই কনসেপশনটা ভুল না যে কমে চালাইলে তেল খরচ কম হবে কিন্তু আসলে কতটুকু কমে চালাইলে কতটুকু তেল খরচ কম হবে সেটা তো বুঝতে হবে তাই না সেটা বুঝতে হবে যে আসলে কি তোমার কম হচ্ছে না বেশি চালাইলে যেটা হইতো সেটা হচ্ছে বেশি হচ্ছে এটা তোমাকে তো ক্যালকুলেট করতে হবে তোমার গ্রাফ দেওয়া আছে কত আর কে নেই কত ফুয়েল কনজাম্পশন গ্রাফ দেওয়া আছে সেখানে তুমি দেখে নিবা খুব সমস্যা হয় এরকম একটা অবস্থা নাই কন্ডিশন এই হচ্ছে এখন কি করব বা কি করা উচিত বা এই জিনিসটা আমার কোথায় পেতে পারি সরাসরি ম্যাকারের সঙ্গে আমরা ইমেল করি ম্যাকারের একটা ডিভিশনই থাকে প্রত্যেকটা কোম্পানির ছোট বড় প্রত্যেকটা ম্যাকারের একটা ডিভিশন থাকে যারা কাস্টমার সাপোর্ট দেয় যেটা বলছে এদের নিশ্চয়ই আছে এরা চায় এদের ইঞ্জিন সারা পৃথিবীতে বেঁচা আছে তো এই ইঞ্জিন গুলা কি জাহাজের নিজস্ব ইঞ্জিন না পরবর্তীতে বদলায় লাগানো ইঞ্জিন মানে জাহাজের জাহাজের ছিল এগুলা 
ভেঙে চুরে যাবে বলক মনে করেন আপনার ডেপকন এটা সেটা দি সব ক্র্যাক ইয়া করবে তারপর ওরা ইঞ্জিন চেঞ্জ করে না এইরকম অবস্থা কোম্পানিদের ভালোভাবে <laughs> সংরক্ষণ নিজেদের আয়ত্তে রাখি স্যার কি থাকবে জানতে চাইছিল যে আমরা আলোচনা করার কথা করতেছি তারপর ওই দিন ওই সময় আমি আলোচনা করব সবাই ম্যাক্সিমাম প্রেজেন্ট থাকবে এটা হ্যাঁ একজন বা দুজনের সঙ্গে বা হুট করে ফোন তো হয় না পার্সোনাল ফোন হয়ে যায় বুঝতে পারছো তো তোমরা গ্রুপে ডিসকাস করে একটা কমন টাইম আমি সোহাগকে বলে দিছি সামনের যে বৃহস্পতিবার এবং শুক্রবার এই দুইটা ছাড়া সামনের বৃহস্পতি এবং শুক্রবার আমি থাকবো না এই দুইটা ছাড়া যে কোনো দিন তোমরা একটা ডেট ফিক্স করো সন্ধ্যার পরে আমি ওখানে আসব এবং আলোচনা করব তো আজকে আমরা বয়লার নিয়ে কথা বলবো বয়লার নিয়ে আমাদের ক্লাস চলতেছিল বয়লার স্টার্টিং স্টপিং নিয়ে আমরা কথা বলতেছিলাম দেখি তারপর আলোচনা করব তারপর তোমাদের প্রশ্ন উত্তরের পর্ব থাকবে
এখন ভিডিওটা দেখেন In previous modules in this series, we've looked at typical boiler combustion equipment for different types of fuel. So let's turn our attention now to boiler operation, and we'll begin by looking at a typical startup procedure. Of course, the precise actions and maneuvers that you take to enter the boiler, particularly with different types of firing, but the principles and operating requirements are the same. <laughs> Let's assume that our boiler is being returned to service after a maintenance outage. It is completely cold. The first step in preparing this boiler for service is to make sure that all of the maintenance jobs have actually been completed and that all permits to work have been canceled. We then need to take a walk around the boiler to make sure that all workers are out, all tools, materials and debris have been removed and that access doors and manholes are closed. All auxiliary equipment, such as feed water pumps and fans, must also be ready for operation with switchgear and breakers racked in and power supply available. If the boiler has been drained during maintenance, it will now be necessary to refill to the working level. <coughs> Before admitting any feed water into the boiler, make sure that the appropriate drain valves are closed. We must also check that the air vent valves are open on top of the steam drum. The superheated <coughs> drain valves should also be open. In order to pump feed water into the boiler, it may be necessary to run the feed pump. However, in many installations, an auxiliary low pressure pump may be provided for this purpose. As feed water enters the boiler and the water level rises in the tubes, air will be expelled from the open vents. The boiler should be filled to a level so that it is just visible in the bottom of the gauge glass. That is about three or four inches, say 10 centimeters below normal working level. The reason for this is to allow for expansion as heating of the water takes place. While the boiler is filling, we should make sure that the combustion equipment is primed and ready for service. Startup burners normally use light oil or gas, both of which are readily combustible. However, before lighting a fire in the boiler, it is essential to purge the furnace and gas passages. This action consists of passing a large quantity of air, say 40% of rated flow, right through the boiler and up the chimney to atmosphere. The objective of this is to purge, that is, sweep away any combustible gas that may be present, perhaps in pockets of the furnace, superheater, or air heater. If purging is not carried out, there is always the potential for an explosion to occur when the first burner is ignited. The purge action is carried on for several minutes and this requires that the forced draft fans be run and induced draft fans if installed. After purging, the airflow is reduced to the pre-established startup value, usually 10 or 15 percent of rated flow. The boiler is now ready to begin firing. Each startup igniter is initiated either by local push button or remotely from the control room. The igniter runs through its own startup sequence as follows. Check that there is a flow of combustion air. Check that oil pressure is correct. Close the switch to ignite the spark plug. Check that the arc is present. Open the ignition fuel valve. Observe that ignition takes place and that the fuel continues to burn. Once the fire is established, the spark plug igniter will be switched off by a timer. If ignition does not occur within about 30 seconds, the fuel valve will be closed and the condition... Igniter startup sequence. Check flow of combustion air. Check oil pressure. Close a spark plug switch, check arc, open ignition fuel bulb, observe ignition and fuel burning, a spark plug igniter switched off by timer, 
if no ignition in 30 seconds, fuel bulb closed and alarm. A startup sequence, igniter startup sequence, it is an important area. When the boiler starts, I mean, I'm not sure if you can see the boiler. I'm not sure if you can see the boiler. So, if you have a sequence, you can see the sequence. Combustion air and flow. Air is a combustion. It's okay. While pressure is okay. If you have a good thing, you can see the spark plug case on or close. ऐसे क्यों हो गया आर्क हो गया शे आर्क होते हैं कि ना देख बा जो भी स्पार्क होते हैं शेषों में तुम्हें फ्यूल बाल्ब का कूला तले क्यों हो गया उखान में फायर हो गया तो हम फ्यूल बार्निंग हो गया शेष तुम्हें ऑब्जर्व कर बा तार परे ये जे आगून लेके गया लो अखान तो आर स्पार्किंग इत्ता तले पूरे बाल एकाएक लोस हो जाते हैं एवं अलार्म बजते हैं इतना हॉय प्लेन पेलियो अलार्म एक चुन में तो ये सीक्वेंस तुम लोग मौन रख पाओ तुम लोग वीडियो टा देखो तार पर हम ये स्टार्टिंग कुछ क्यों टा हमारे मोते कुछ बोले दिखो इशन अलार्म्ड द रेट ऑफ एडिंग हीट टू द बॉयलर इज डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द so as to allow further control over heat input to the boiler. It takes a considerable amount of time to heat all the metal in a cold boiler, including the water contained inside the tubes and drum. We should expect to see steam blowing from the air vents after an hour or so. We will also notice that the level of water has risen. This is due to both thermal expansion and also some swell as boiling starts to take place. You will remember we discussed swell and shrink caused by steam bubbles in an earlier module. When the steam pressure rises to say 20 PSIG or 140 kilopascals, the air vents on the steam drum should be closed. At this point, we can assume that all air has been expelled from the boiler and steam at this very low pressure fills the space above the water as well as inside the superheater as far as the boiler stop valve. The temperature of the water and the steam and the water wall tube metal will all be at or close to the saturation temperature corresponding to the pressure. That is about 230 degrees Fahrenheit or 110 degrees Celsius. This rise in temperature from a cold start will cause a considerable expansion of the boiler metal, and this must be allowed for in the construction of the boiler. For example, this particular boiler, which is bottom supported, is built so as to allow expansion in an upward direction. On large boilers, support is affected from above like this. The boiler is actually suspended and held by these heavy steel rods. In this case, expansion takes place in a downward direction. In some installations, you may find an indicator which shows the amount of expansion from the cold position. This may be as much as 12 inches or more, say 30 centimeters, between the cold start position and full load. Because of the stresses imposed by this expansion of the body of the boiler, there is a limit to how fast we can add heat. A general rule of thumb is that the temperature of the water walls should not increase at a rate above 100 degrees Fahrenheit per hour, say 55 degrees Celsius per hour. But during this startup operation, how do we know the precise temperature of the water walls? Well, we can easily infer this from the steam pressure. First assume that the metal temperature is equal to or similar to the temperature of water inside the tubes. And this will be approximately equal to the saturation temperature corresponding to the steam pressure. Using this information, we can draw a pressure raising curve based on the 100 degree Fahrenheit per hour limitation. You can see from this curve that initially pressure must be raised quite slowly. However, as pressure increases, then the rate of pressure raising can also be increased. 
Even so, it will take about five hours to bring a cold boiler up to 1,200 PSIA. So bearing this in mind, let's return to our startup <coughs> procedure. Now that the drum air vents are closed, the steam pressure will start to increase. We should observe that it rises in accordance with our startup curve, but what control do we have over this? Well, if pressure rises too quickly, then we will need to reduce the fuel pressure to the igniters or perhaps extinguish one gun. On the other hand, if pressure rises too slowly, we may need to throttle in the superheater drains, but we cannot go far with this. Remember that it is essential to keep steam flowing through the superheater in order to keep the metal temperature cool. For some period of time, the water level will continue to rise as pressure increases. This is due to increasing temperature plus increase in steam generation, which creates more bubbles in the water. But where is the generated steam going? Well, the only steam flow from the boiler is that passing through the superheater drains. But of course, as the pressure increases, so will the steam flow increase through these valves. Eventually, this flow will become so great that the water level starts to fall. This means we are dumping more steam than is being generated at this time. Eventually, as the water level falls further, it will be necessary to start the boiler feed pump and add feed water. We also may be able to throttle in the superheater drains further so as to reduce this wastage. Actually, the opening of these valves has some influence on the steam temperature at the superheater outlet. How is this? Well, if the steam flow through the superheater is increased by increased opening of drain valves, then the rate of firing will need to be increased so as to continue pressure raising. This results in a greater volume of combustion gas passing over the superheater, consequently transferring more heat to the steam so raising its temperature. This maneuver is sometimes employed when we are trying to match steam temperature to the steam turbine metal temperature during a unit hot startup. However, remember that in order to achieve this, we are burning more fuel and dumping heat to waste. In some circumstances, this waste heat may be recovered, and we'll be talking more about this arrangement when we discuss turbines in another module in this series. At that time, we will also discuss the procedure for charging the main steam line and opening the boiler stop valve. We must point out here that a boiler stop valve is not always installed. And in this case, the steam line will be charged with steam throughout the startup, right down to the turbine stop valve. Often on a cold start, steam is admitted to the turbine quite early in the pressure raising cycle say when the boiler pressure is about 400 PSI. The objective is to raise steam pressure and temperature on the boiler and run up the turbine at the same time. If this is a reheat unit, the reheat drains must be open during the run-up period. Once the turbine is synchronized and carrying load, the superheater and reheater drains may be closed, as steam is now flowing through the superheater and reheater and on through the turbine. Also, during the initial loading, it is likely that one or two of the main fuel burners will be placed in service, and the associated startup burners shut down. We are speaking here of heavy oil or gas firing. Where pulverized coal firing is involved, the boiler will usually remain on oil firing until turbine minimum load is established, say 10%. During pressure raising on the boiler, attention must be paid to maintaining the correct water level in the drum. As soon as possible, the automatic water level control should be placed in service. Similarly, other controls should be put in automatic <coughs> service, although this may not be possible until the turbine minimum load has been reached. We'll be discussing monitoring and control systems in detail later. So at this point, we have the boiler up to rated pressure supplying steam to the turbine generator. 
The boiler must now be controlled so as to maintain rated steam pressure and temperature as the generator load and consequently steam demand changes. We'll be talking about on-load operation in the next segment, but first, let's take a brief look at a boiler shutdown procedure. As load is reduced on the turbine generator by reducing steam flow, heat input to the boiler must be reduced. This is done by taking burners or pulverizers out of service and reducing combustion air accordingly. Once the generator is taken offline and the turbine stop valve closed, the fire should be extinguished completely. The FD and ID fans will be shut down and dampers closed. All drains should remain closed and feed water topped up to a high level in the gauge glass. In this situation, the boiler is said to be in a boxed up or bottled up condition. As the heat is retained inside the boiler with very little heat loss to atmosphere, the steam pressure will fall slowly, perhaps to 50% within 24 hours. As the pressure and temperature fall, the water level in the steam drum also falls slowly so that it becomes necessary to top this up from time to time. The objective of this boxed up condition is to keep the boiler available for a quick startup. In this condition, we can restart the boiler and raise pressure to rated value within say one and a half hours. A different situation would prevail if the boiler was being taken out of service for maintenance. In this case, we would run the ID and FD fans so as to purge the boiler of gas and also to force cool the hot metal and refractory. Even when the pressure falls to zero, further cooling would still be necessary for some time after, so as to allow personnel to enter the boiler. Well, now at this time, let's take a break, and then we'll come back and look at on-load operating conditions. For now, please switch off the tape and review this material in your workbook. Let's now examine the requirements for on-load operation of the boiler and some of the difficulties which may be encountered. The prime task of the boiler operator is to assure that the boiler follows changes in steam demand from the turbine generator and maintains the rated steam pressure and temperature. Steam pressure is controlled by adjusting the heat input, that is the quantity of fuel supply and associated combustion air. Of course, this sounds easy, but in practice it takes considerable effort and experience to obtain good, clean, efficient combustion. We already know that for efficient operation, a precise quantity of air must be provided to match the fuel input. This curve shows the effect of either insufficient or too much excess air. You can see that with insufficient air, boiler losses increase considerably due to incomplete combustion with the resultant presence of carbon monoxide and unburned carbon in the flue gas. Increasing the air supply will usually complete the burning of carbon monoxide to form carbon dioxide. It should also reduce the amount of of the boiler operator is to assure that the boiler follows changes in steam demand from the turbine generator of the vanadium pentoxide and so hopefully allow it to pass right through the superheater zone without settling on the tubes. So much for ash in fuel oil. Where processed natural gas is used as the fuel, we are extremely lucky as it contains zero or <coughs> negligible quantities of ash. 
Let's now turn our attention to coal, which unfortunately does contain large quantities of ash, typically 12 to 15 percent. About 250 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 120 degrees will be virtually the same as pressure in the steam drum. Note that pressure in the drum will always be higher than the steam outlet pressure due okay. to the pressure. Theoretical kathavatai beshi, amra ekhane jeka dekhte silam, shedha chile jye boiler start up and shut down. Start up amra dekhsi, amra ekhane shut down ta dekhbo, tar pore dekhi shut down ne tara ki bolse. It's a boiler, actor Dako, boiler a J Batash de Ahoy, which you make a fan at the Decabola, FD fan, force draft fan, force draft fan, force draft fan de Gayaho. Our Ikene, which is a borrow plan, it take a borrow plan, me a borrow plan will have to keep a high, shortly force draft fan, Batash the Chicken, a induced draft fan of it. A induced draft fan, a Batash take an induced corruption. Should we wish it over this? তাহলে এই এফ ডি ফ্যান এবং ইনডিউসড ডাক ফ্যান এই দুটো শব্দের সাথে তোমরা পরিচিত থাকো কম্পিউটার অর মাইক্রো প্রসেসর হ্যাজ দি অ্যাডভান্টেজ দ্যাট ইট ক্যান স্টোর ইনফরমেশন এন্ড দিস ক্যান বি রিট্রিভড হোয়ার উই নিড টু ইনভেস্টিগেট অপারেটিং ইনসিডেন্টস the computer can also print out operating logs at predetermined time intervals and can also provide a sequence of events printout in case of system upsets. Whether we're using a traditional or modern system, the information from sensing devices can also be used to operate automatic controls. We'll be taking a closer look at boiler control systems in the next module. But at this point, it's time for us to take a break and then we'll come back and talk about protection devices on the boiler. Hey, Jagata, for now, please switch off the tape and thoroughly review devices. this material in your workbook. Now, we have to talk about the boiler protection, boiler protection devices. Hey, Jagata, we have to look carefully at this. When we think about protection of the boiler, we need to consider just what are the hazardous conditions that may arise during boiler operation. What is it that we have to protect against? Well, the basic dangers are a furnace explosion due to incorrect combustion conditions, a rupture of boiler tubes due to overheating, rupture of metallic components due to excessive internal pressure. Now, there are a number of different operating conditions that can lead to the dramatic failures that we have just mentioned. So the boiler must be equipped with first an alarm system to warn the operator of impending dangerous conditions, and secondly, protective devices that will automatically take preventive action. One of the most obvious potential hazards is <coughs> that of water level control. If for any reason insufficient feed water is supplied to the boiler, then the water level in the drum will fall, and eventually there will be insufficient water to provide circulation. The result would be rapid overheating of water wall tubes and tube rupture in many cases. Even though today's boiler water level control systems are highly reliable, we must still guard against this possibility. Usually, a low water level alarm will enunciate when the level falls to, say, minus 10 inches, that is, 250 millimeters below normal operating level. If no action is taken and the level continues to fall, say, to minus 20 inches, that is, minus 500 millimeters, then the boiler trip relay will be activated. So what does this relay do? Well, its most important action is to shut off the fuel, thus extinguishing the fire and removing the source of heat. 
The fans are normally left running, but with the airflow through the boiler adjusted to a preset minimum position, say 10% of normal rated airflow. This will clear residual combustion gases out of the boiler and at the same time keep it in a ready state for a quick start. However, if the feed water conditions cannot be recovered, then the operator will shut down the fans and close up the boiler. But what happens to the steam pressure at the boiler's steam outlet? Well, of course, as soon as the fire is extinguished, this pressure will start to fall. So in order to protect the downstream equipment, the boiler trip would also need to shut down the turbine and other downstream equipment. If the boiler happened to be feeding into a common steam header in parallel with other boilers, then the boiler trip would close our boiler stop valve. So much for low water level. But we also run into problems if the water level rises too high in the steam drum. In this case, we run the risk of water being entrained in the steam and passing on through the superheater and on to the steam turbine. Any tiny water droplets contained in steam can cause tremendous damage to turbine blades because of their extremely high velocity. So high water level in the boiler is a potential danger to the steam turbine. Again, a high water level alarm will enunciate to be followed by a high water level trip. We've just mentioned the potential overheating of boiler tubes due to lack of water. But as we have mentioned before, we can also run into overheating of superheater tubes during startup due to lack of steam circulation through the tubes. It is quite common to monitor the temperature of superheater tube metal as this provides useful information during startup. In most installations, the superheater tube metal temperature monitor does not trip the boiler, but it does actuate alarms when the temperature rises to an abnormally high level. Now, in addition to problems caused by high temperature, we can also damage boiler tubes and components by excessive high pressure. But what could cause such a rise in steam pressure? Well, just imagine what happens when the boiler suffers a load rejection, that is, the steam turbine or other downstream equipment suddenly decreases load. In this case, the boiler is suddenly left with minimal steam flow output and a large heat input still entering the boiler. The result is an immediate increase in steam pressure. In order to alleviate the immediate pressure rise, safety valves are fitted at different locations, such as the main steam outlet from the boiler, the secondary superheater outlet header, the primary <coughs> superheater outlet header, the steam drum. The safety valves are calibrated so as to lift in a desired sequence, that is, the outlet valves first and the drum safety valves last. The objective is to make sure that adequate steam flow is maintained through the superheater tubes. Once pressure falls back to normal, the safety valves close again in the opposite sequence, that is, drum first. But how do we correct the high pressure situation? Well, clearly, we need to decrease the fuel input to the boiler. Sometimes the reduction in steam demand is short-lived and the pressure falls again, just as the operator is reducing fuel input. However, if the load rejection is complete, such as a steam turbine trip, then it may be necessary to shut off the fuel supply completely to the boiler. A master trip button is often provided for this purpose at the control console. Normally the fans are kept running so as to keep the boiler purged of combustion gases and also to be ready for a quick start if required. The precise calibration of safety valves forms an important part of boiler maintenance which must be carried out at regular intervals. On many boilers, the safety valve located at the steam outlet is electrically operated and is known as an electromatic safety valve. This has the advantage that the valve can be opened manually by the operator if he wishes to increase steam flow through the superheater during startup when pressure is far below normal. 
We've just talked about load rejection causing a steam pressure rise, but this has other effects too. The sudden rise in pressure causes many of the steam bubbles which are contained in the water to collapse, with the result that the boiler water level in the drum falls rapidly. Most control systems are able to cope with this shrink by opening the feed water control valve wide to increase feed water flow. An incidental effect of this large quantity or relatively cool feed water entering the boiler is to help cause the steam pressure to fall back to normal. The reverse condition occurs if we try to pick up load too fast on the turbine. In this case, the steam flow increases rapidly, the pressure falls, prevents the fuel system from activating until the purge cycle has been complete. That okay. is the flow of the video that they saw. I mean, much can only to go jagger 10 ADC. The jagger that theoretical chilo among two mother shanga said, I'm on a march for this rona, but to mother shanga milk this to mother chino progenium chilona. She on shota. The bottom digger on shota bash progenium chilo to mother chino to be good to no chilo. So Jayo, I make a boiler a start with the lane. Shutdown cells take a Mikichu Jinish Gustavo, Jam Boiler Taji to Ami, a start divo, the boiler a cotula Jinishami of Bushu, the Kinibo, Shutachu, the boiler a fuel supply system, Tika Sekina. Boiler a fire bitole, tell like me, tell a system that Tika Sekina, Shabula line, a bulb in line for us. Tarpura Maka Dektobe, tell Barn Kotule, year like me, Kaja year. System Tika Sekina, Yara Balta shop in line for our Chekina, Ekulama the Ket, the Ket. So Ekene Yara Jitro Jitahoi, draft fan take, force draft fan take. Our boiler in Ashe Pashe shop Jagami de Kenipo, Jetta drum, uh, dramage manhole door, put out leakage a Sekina, shop door door, tick tack motor lagano a Sekina, Eglu de Kenipo. এগুলো ছিল আমার প্রাথমিক ইনস্পেকশন প্রাথমিক প্রস্তুতি এটা দেখার পর এবার আমি যাব বয়লার ড্রামের কাছে বয়লার ড্রামে ওয়াটার লেভেল ঠিক আছে কিনা ঠিক পর্যন্ত বয়লার ড্রামে ওয়াটার আছে কিনা আমরা ধরে নেই যে বয়লারটা এই জাস্ট ঘন্টা কয়েক আগে বন্ধ করা হয়েছিল সামান্য মেইনটেনেন্স জন্য এখন আমরা চলতেছি অর্থাৎ ওয়ার্ম একটা বয়লার গরম একটা বয়লার আমরা স্টার্ট করছি সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমাদের সিকোয়েন্সটা কি হবে সেক্ষেত্রে আমাদের সিকোয়েন্সটা হবে প্রথমে আমরা এক সব তো চেক করলাম সব ঠিক ঠাক আছে এখন এফ ডিফেন্ডার চালায় দিব এফ ডিফেন্ডার চালায় রাখব তাহলে কি হবে ভিতরে বাতাস দিতে থাকবে এবং এই বাতাস ভিতর থেকে যত রকমের ফ্লু গ্যাস ফাউল গ্যাস আছে সেগুলোকে আনবার্নড অয়েল আছে ভেপার আছে এই সবগুলোকে উপর দিয়ে বের করে দেব আমরা সাফিসিয়েন্ট টাইম এলাউ করি যাতে সমস্ত ফাউল গ্যাস এবং Oil pepper, beverage. Judir kum nakuri, tell it. Act a possibility thake, je fuel a hot up to it, fuel pepper thake, tell a hot up to it, ignition air for shaken abu legate the barre, as a backfire and possibility that beverage, jetta, do not know what of it. As you know, force drop French alive, parching corata, cook jury. Parching sequence air for Amra jetta corpo, je air pressure thake amra. It's too commodity. Air pressure to come by the economic people, ignition switch on for ignition switch on for a shutter shutter. I'm a people go fuel on for fuel spray a car a port of a day. Jet of an ignition hoche, as if fuel a good legacy. Air for Korea, I'm a people go ignition switch off for it. Fuel ta on it. Flame generate for the ami flame ta observe for the flame ta observe for it. After I'm a year and position ta. J Jagai get a hollow flame hobby, she mark for a cagate, she can air taken, be a little boiler at home, chokes, I mean, steam feed bulb in operational condition as a oil in operational condition as a feed pump at a standby as a running condition as a jetta docker, jetta running mode as a water docker will feed the way. 
আবার ফিডের পরিমাণ হয়ে গেলেই সে বন্ধ হবে সবকিছুই নর্মাল কন্ডিশনে আছে বয়লার প্রেশার রাইস করতেছে বয়লার ওয়াটার লেভেল ঠিক আছে এটা আমরা দেখলে বয়লারকে এবার আমি লিফ করতে পারি ছাড়তে পারি তাহলে বয়লার অটো চলতে থাকবে স্টিম প্রেশার সাফিসিয়েন্ট হয়ে গেলে আমরা কি করব এখন স্টিমটাকে আউটলোডে দিব ব্যবহারে দিব সেক্ষেত্রে আমরা করব কি স্টিম স্টপ বালটাকে ক্র্যাক ওপেন করব ক্র্যাক ওপেন করলে সামান্য একটু স্টিম যায় লাইনটাকে আস্তে আস্তে হিটে টাপ করবে प्रयोजन मत खुले दीब जाते लगाते क्रमे टाइम ठंडा लाइन भीतरेम खुले दीबना वाटर हेमारिंग बिकट শব্দ হবে এবং পাইপ ক্র্যাক করারও সম্ভাবনা কি কোন সমস্যা করে তো আমি তো ভাবছি কোন সমস্যা যে रिपीट करते प्रथम की रानिंग मुडे दिल जेनारेट हो ग তখন আমরা এয়ার এর পরিমাণ আস্তে আস্তে বাড়ায় দিয়ে তার কারেক্ট পজিশনে নিয়ে যাব যেন সাফিসিয়েন্ট এয়ার পায় ফুয়েল বার্ন হওয়ার জন্য তারপর আমরা স্টিম প্রেসার রাইজ করতেছি কিনা ওয়াটার ঠিক আছে কিনা ফিট পাম্প গুলো সঠিক ভাবে কাজ করতেছে কিনা এই সব কিছু দেখব এবং স্টিম প্রেসার যখন রাইজ হয়ে যাবে তারপর আমরা কি করব স্টিল স্টপ বালটাকে ক্র্যাক ওপেন করে পাইপটাকে ওয়ার্ম করব পাইপটা যথেষ্ট পরিমাণে ওয়ার্ম হওয়ার পর আরেকটু খুলবো পাইপটাকে আরো আনবে পাইপটা যখন সাফিসিয়েন্ট ওয়ার্ম হয়ে যাবে এবং প্রেশার হয়ে যাবে তারপর আমরা কি করব স্টিম স্টপ বালটাকে ধীরে ধীরে খুলে দিব ততটুকু যতটুকু খুললে আমার চলে তারপরে আমরা বয়লার প্রেশার অ্যাডজাস্ট করব এবং সবকিছু ঠিকঠাক আছে কিনা দেখে আমরা উই ক্যান নাও লিভ দা বয়লার ফর অটো অপারেশন এটা ছিল একটা বয়লারের प्रथम डिओ बाल खुले दी हिटार बंदी একটা নির্দিষ্ট পরিমাণ ফুয়েল হিট কমে গেলে আমরা কি করব 
डीओ टा दिए दीबो एफ ओ टा बंद कर दीबो डीओ ते फायरिंग कंटिन्यू कर बो अपना चार पास मिनट एफ ओ बंद हो गया ना एफ ओ की चार पास मिनट डीओ ते चार पास मिनट जखन कंटिन्यू कर बो बारना लाइन पिंटर शब डीजल है वाश आउट हो गया ना डीजल चले आज तो सिस्टम में पांच छह मिनट तो जखन डीजल चले आज तो तार पर आप बैठी कर बो पहले में फ्यूल बंद कर दीबो फ्यूल बंद कर दीबो किंतु एफ डिफेंड चल दो थक के बेस किसी को ना एफ डिफेंड चल दे पितो ते के समस्त गैस पार्ट जाउट हो � how to start a boiler, how to stop a boiler. ठीक है तो तो अमरा इच्छा boiler के starting एवं stopping का अम्म यामान मोते को रियालोचना कर ला। अहम तुम आदर के अमरा boiler शब्दों के आज के third day पर अच्छी। काजे इतने मोते किसी basic knowledge भी से। काजे तुम रा अहम तुम आदर जी question बोला मोने जाग से शिवला मोते जी जिसको ते बारे हाँ तो मतलब किस पास होता है आपसे बोल पा कुछ सर एयर पार्टिंग करने प्रोसेड्यूर टक की जाना बोल रहे हैं सर बॉयलर को ला बेर हुए जब तो बुझी नहीं सर बॉयलर एक ता फैन था के पोस्ट डार्क फैन बॉयलर एस्टर दिया रागे बॉयलर एक शुम्स तो जिसको देखे ठीक है चेक करे ये पोस्ट डार्क फैन था के चला रखता है चला रखले एनवायरनमेंट के बा� फाउल गैस, पुएल भैप आरे गुलो थाके इगुला के फैले बैर को रहे। एर फॉले उखन तके जखन बैर रह जाए, क्लीन एयर थाके, फॉले उखन जुदी स्पार्क होए, ताले कोनो तरह ने बैकफायर एंड पोसिबिलिटी थाके ना दुन घरों ना घोटे ना। नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट आर कारों की चुकाता सर बाताश भीतर भीतर प्रवेश करा है ना कि बेर को रहता है सर बाताश भीतर ढूंढ के लेके भीतर तक के चीनी चुला के बाहर को रहती है बाताश तक के आप रा बॉयलर एर भीतर ही देखो बॉयलर एर कोठा है फार्नेस जिकने पुएल बांड हो गए शेज जगह शेज चैम्बर है भीतर ही देखो जिकने जो दी बाताश तक दी ताले बाताश तक और जो स्टोक करूँगा उसे और जो स्टोक करूँगा कैसे कैसे के पाव जाए तुम इसी स्टीम पे बाबार करते हो शे स्टीम पे बाबार करते हो तुम ही ऑयल हीटिंग करा चुनो आइडल लूप ऑयल और हैवी ऑयल इतने के हीटिंग करा चुनो अखों जेतु अनेक गुलो डीवी टैंक अनेक गुलो अनेक गुला डीवी टैंक विंग टैंक केसटी � ऑयल गर्म करते सो लूब ऑयल पीरिफायर है लूब ऑयल के तुम्हें हीटर टाप करते सो सर्विस सेटलिंग टैंक के भीतर है हीटर आते हैं तार मना ए लॉट ऑफ हीटर सीज वर्किंग है तार पूरे मेन इंजन में फ्यूल बांध कर चुनो एफओ हीटर भी तो दिए तुम्हें स्टीम के दाम करा चुनो तो ले ऐसे गुलो जा� वायलेस होंगे स्टीम चले जाएंगे चले गए लेकिन तुम्हारे वही किन्हें तेल कंटेमिनेटेड हो जाएंगे आर जुदी बॉयलर प्रेशर तो हम बंदों था कि वही बाल बंदों था कि तो लोग वही लाइन है तो स्टीम प्रेशर थक बना तो हम वायल आइशे लाइन डर भी तो रहे भोरे थक के तार पर जब हम तुम्हीं स्टीम खुल बा 
স্টিম প্রেসার সে ওয়ালটাকে পুশ করে তোমার ক্যাসকেট ট্যাঙ্কে রিটার্ন নিয়ে আসবে তারপরে সেগুলো যদি ঠিকঠাক আছে এরপরও ফ্লেম ফেলিওর অ্যালার্ম আসে তাহলে বুঝতে হবে যে তোমার স্পার্কটা ঠিক মতো হচ্ছে না অথবা ফুয়েল স্প্রে এর ভালোভাবে ফুয়েল স্প্রে করতেছে না অথবা ময়লাগল থাকে তাহলে সেম ঘটনা ঘটে আর কিছু প্রশ্ন তোমাদের মাথায় আসা উচিত সিস্টেম Pop a plug tube plugging system from EST Group. Hi everyone, this video is to illustrate the safe uh, install and startup of a Mira boiler. So starting in the front, we're going to work our way across and we're going to follow the piping. Three startup checks. First thing we come to is our economizer. We want to make sure that our economizer piping um, has not been modified in any way. It is well supported and in this case um, it's, bidden, it's hidden so there is no safety uh, trip hazards. leads us to our automatic bottom blowdown again we want to make sure that this is well supported and away from any uh, potential problems leads us to our uh, chimney our chimney uh, you'll find works best with minimal <laughs> restrictions and a short stub stack next would be our um, feed water tank Number one thing on the feed water tank is we want to make sure that our water pumps are installed as close as possible, preferably underneath of our feed water tank, to make sure that we have enough head pressure that we are not going to cause any pump cavitation. The normal installation would include a shutoff valve, a strainer, comes to our pump, and um, Muir recommends having a check valve after the pump with a pressure gauge for testing. In the back, we have our chemical feed system. We're feeding our chemicals based on a pulse signal from our water meter. From there, it will be fed directly into our feed water tank. And the number one um, issue here is to make sure that the chemical feed is below the water level. Um, coming into the back of the tank, we have our preheater. We have our condensate return, we have our vent, we have our makeup system, and um, we recommend, again, having a separate feed water sample line, in this case for feed water. It'll be fed to our sample cooler, so the operator can get a safe, uh, workable sample. It comes to our blowdown separator, okay, again, venting is very important. So is it is a five inch vent going up, a safe discharge to drain, and we have our cold water makeup to make sure that we're um, putting the water to the sewer at an allowable temperature. <coughs> we have our surface blowdown. Just like the other blowdown, um, it's very important that this piping be well supported 
and discharged to a safe location. We have our main gas supply coming in, okay? Because we're using um, a Roots gas pulse meter, we always install a strainer just for the protection of the, the meter. We have a gas pressure gauge to make sure that we are in the proper uh, range for operating gas pressure. Coming across leads us to our safety valve. Okay, notice the piping is discharging on the roof, okay, to a safe location where nobody can get scalded or burned. The last part that's the, probably the most important part of the installation would be your chemical feed and water softening system. Okay, in this case, we have a duplexed water softener followed by a polisher, which almost guarantees a zero hardness leakage. For this system, we, re we require two brine tanks, the smaller one being for the polisher, the larger one being for our duplex softener. From there, it comes to our water meter, and we're feeding our chemical from our three drums based on a pulse signal that we will get from our water meter to our timer, to our pumps. And these are very easily adjustable by setting your stroke and your pulse rate. The last part in check would be our color metry unit. Um, currently, our color metry units will be set up for sampling on an hourly basis, which will guarantee um, reliable service. Some quick checks that we're gonna do on the system before the boiler is actually started is number one, we wanna make sure we got a good supply of salt in both our brine tanks, okay? Not only for the polisher, but for the main softener as well. From here, before we put water into our feed water tank, we want to do a manual uh, hardness check just to make sure that everything is operating the way it's intended and that the regeneration is not needed. On our chemical level tanks, uh, number one, we want to make sure that we have enough chemical, okay? Easily checked by just giving a little bit of a shake. Uh, we want to make sure that all our three pumps are primed, okay? If priming is needed, um, all we really do is open up the little vent hole on it and very simple, it'll just vent back into the tank. From there, we're going to go to the color metry. And again, a very simple check is just to put it through a manual test simply by pressing the manual monitor and waiting a minute or two for the results. If everything there checks out as um, recommended by Mira, the next step would be to fill the tank and proceed from there. One final step we're gonna do before we actually fill our feed water tank is we're gonna do a manual check of uh, the water quality. So a very quick uh, hardness test. Number one, we're just gonna get a quick sample, let it flush out for a second or two, make sure it's fresh. Quick rinse of the bottle. And what we're looking for is a 25 milliliter sample. We're gonna put in five drops of our hardness buffer. followed by one scoop of a hardness powder. The results should turn a blue, which indicates uh, no water hardness and the uh, water quality with, is within Mira specs. And the results are uh, soft water. One final step that um, is recommended before turning the power onto the boiler is um, checking all your wire connections. Very simple to check your terminal bar. Just by pulling on the wires, you're able to see any loose connections that are gonna come back to cause a problem later. On our other terminals, which are more of a screw type, okay? Again, it's recommended that they be thoroughly checked and any repairs made in at that time. Takes us down to our water pump fan motor contactor and circuit breakers. Number one priority here is to make sure that uh, number one, the wires are tight, is secured. Number two is that the amp rating of the circuit breaker matches the nameplate rating of the water pump and fan motor and set it accordingly. 
Before we turn our, our boiler on, what we're going to do next is we're going to check our rotations of our fan motor and water pump. A quick, efficient way to do that is simply by bumping our motor after all the wire connections have been checked to make sure that everything is nice and tight and looking at our impeller on one end or our, our motor cooler on the other end for rotation. And simply just by the design, you're able to make sure that the direction is proper for proper airflow, proper combustion. Um, on, a, on a side note, <coughs> depending on the installation, it's always good to have a second person help you check rotation of the water pump, just for the fact that after you pump the motor, um, it's almost impossible to make it back to the pump to check the rotation. So always, in a case like this, a second set of eyes is always helpful. Okay, now that our uh, pre-checks have been done, uh, what we're going to do next is um, we're going to take the pilot out, we're going to fire the pilot outside, check its condition. Um, on the BL boiler, the procedure is with the boiler off. We're going to go to our function switch. We are going to select maintenance mode with the rotary switch. Flip it to yes. Back inside back to our function switch down position and now we have our M flashing on our screen plus the beep beep showing that we are in the maintenance mode so once again with the boiler off we're gonna go to burner adjust and we're just gonna follow the on-screen instructions we're gonna select pilot we're going to press and hold to enter the data. From there, what we're going to do next is we're going to remove our pilot assembly. The next thing we want to do is we want to remove our flame eye from the housing and just put it in a somewhat safe area out of harm's way just for testing purposes. For safety reasons as well, we are going to close our manifold gas valve. From this position, we are now going to start the boiler. So right now we are doing a visual check of our pilot. And just by the condition of it, we can see that we are a little bit gas rich. And normally on an LX, that is the type of flame that we are looking for. A nice, crisp, steady flame. Hi 
Hi everyone, we are now going to continue on with the safety checks of the boiler. Uh, the next alarm to be tested is going to be our high limit, also known as emergency stop. Now this is one of the easier switches to test. Um, what we will do is we'll just turn our operating pressure switch down below the, uh, the pressure of the boiler. With the alarm reset, always remember to reset the pressure switch. And return the set point back to uh, the normal setting. The next alarm that we will check now will be the low gas pressure and this one is simple enough to check by shutting off the main gas supply once the main burner has been established. Once again, after the alarm has been silenced, slowly open the gas valve and proceed to your next alarm. In this case, uh, we will simulate high gas pressure switch next. And again, very simple to check. With the main burner on, we will simply close the manual ball valve on the manifold to simulate high gas pressure. And once again, with the alarm reset, don't forget to open up the main gas valve once again. The last alarm that we will simulate will be the air pressure. To, to uh, simulate that, we will simply turn off our breaker for our, for our fan motor and start the boiler. With the alarm reset and silenced, please engage the circuit breaker once again for proper operation. That is just a brief summary of how to test the safeties on Amira prior to boiler commissioning. Thank you. Um, one other test that we will do uh, for simulation will be the low water cutoff. We will trip the breaker of the feed water pump Once the boiler is running, we'll open up the bottom blowdown valve just to 
speed it up and to simulate a low water condition. After resetting the alarm condition, please close the blowdown valve. Turn the water pump breaker back on. And then you are free to proceed to the completion of your safety checks of the boiler. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, now that the safeties have been completed, our next step is going to be to uh, measure our gas differentials, our manifold and combustion. Now it is a normal procedure for Mira's um, recommendations that the uh, main gas orifice differential Tumra video ta onekkhon jabo dekhcho besh motamoti boroi ekta video ekhane ekdom beginner der jonno easy bhabe jate bujhte pare she jonno ekta boiler start up ebong boiler er safety Safety will keep up inspection for the are they in working condition or in travel. A shop work a visit to shall up for sale. Domra Hoyto Mustaparso, Bakis Suja Mustaparonai. But the Motocon question the clam of the Bolo de Key. So the question Bolo the Kamoke. Let a continue for Bo, Bakola Avar Dek Bosu the Kabo, Kemekane, or the Kajaga discuss for Yako. Jotuku Dex, where we could get to make some Gustavaso, but on a question Jack in another way. Okay. It acted horror with the boiler cage, almost to Jimish looking among her way in sequence. Shall they say that it took a boost of barrel? Your boiler, if I were treat the check, if I were boiler a fire, the check, fit the alaga fit the quality, if I were the hardness, a glue check for the set, the airport a boiler cage, a start the agent of we bulk, if I were set up for low, airport a boiler cage, start up for low pressure edge for low among boiler which is steam high pressure alarm. Tarpore to my low start hoa, high test shut down hoa, tarpore water low level hoa, alarm or shah, a genish low she backa course explain course. So fuel and kotha, yar and kotha, manhole and kotha, pressure gadget kotha, water level and kotha, surroundings and kotha, we will not shop like you know, pre start up check up. I'm like a video to the key, shaky water. First thing we come to is our economizer. We want to make sure that our economizer piping um, has not been modified in any way. It is well supported. And in this case, um, it's, bidden, it's hidden, so there is no safety uh, trip hazards. Leads us to our automatic bottom blowdown. Again, we want to make sure that this is well supported and away from any uh, potential problems. Leads us to our uh, chimney. Our chimney, uh, you'll find works best with minimal restrictions and a short stub stack. Next would be our um, feed water tank. Number one thing on the feed water tank is we want to make sure that our water pumps are installed as close as possible, preferably underneath of our feed water tank. Feed water, chicken at Thake, Amla Jahaja Jetake, hot oil tank buri. A installation of the Jahaja installation, it should very corbe. Ah, the Ekanaju to our pronunciation to clear 
बयलार মিনিমাম দুইটা পাম্প থাকবে একটা স্ট্যান্ডবাই বোর্ডে থাকবে একটা রানিং কন্ডিশনে থাকবে দুইটা পাম্প থাকবে এবং এটা অটো সিলেক্ট করা থাকবে একটা স্ট্যান্ডবাই আর একটা অটোতে দেয়া থাকবে যেটা অটোতে দেয়া থাকবে সেটা পানির লেভেল যখন রিকোয়ার্ড লেভেলে নামবে তখন এটা স্টার্ট হবে এবং রিকোয়ার্ড লেভেল পর্যন্ত পানি নেওয়া হলে এই পাম্পটা অটোই স্টপ হয়ে যাবে পাম্প এটা সঠিক ভাবে কাজ করতেছে কিনা এটা টেস্ট করা যায় আমরা পুরো সিস্টেমটাকে অটো মোডে রেখে আমরা বয়লার যদি ওয়াটার কে ব্লো ডাউন করি এবং যে লেভেলে আসলে বয়লার পাম্প স্টার্ট হওয়ার কথা ফিট পাম্প সেই লেভেলে পাম্পটা স্টার্ট হয়ে যাচ্ছে কিনা আমরা দেখতে পারবো তারপর আমরা গ্যাস গ্লাসের যেতে গিয়ে তাকায় থেকে পানি যে লেভেলে আসলে বন্ধ হওয়ার কথা ওখানে গিয়ে এই ফিট পাম্পটা অটো বন্ধ হয়ে যাবে এভাবে আমরা এই পাম্পটাও টেস্ট করতে পারি অফ আর ফিড ওয়াটার ট্যাঙ্ক টু মেক শিওর দ্যাট উই হ্যাভ এনাফ হেড প্রেসার দ্যাট উই আর নট গোনা কজ এনি পাম্প ক্যাভিটেশন The normal installation would include a shut-off valve. Pam, I can tell you that the pump that is below the water tank, below the water tank, is a positive suction by head pressure. If it is not there, then the other side will be locked by cavitation. This is our centrifugal pump. This is our simple like centrifugal pump. Valve, a strainer comes to our pump. And um, Muir recommends having a check valve after the pump with a pressure gauge for testing. In the back, we have our chemical feed system. We're feeding our chemicals based on a pulse <coughs> signal from our water meter. I'm not Johnny. It's a boiler water time to time check. What a high. It can be in the rock of a lob on dissolve of a stack. A lob on gula. Okay. I'm right. আমাদের জন্য ক্ষতিকর যেগুলা হিট ট্রান্সফারে বাধা দেয় বয়লার এফিসিয়েন্সি কে ডাউন করে করোশন কে বাড়ায় ফেলে কাজেই এই বয়লার ওয়াটার যেমন টেস্ট করা হয় এবং বয়লার ওয়াটার ট্রিটমেন্ট বলে একটা শব্দ আছে এখানে বিভিন্ন ধরনের কেমিক্যাল বিভিন্ন সময় অ্যাড করতে হয় এই জন্য কেমিক্যাল গুলাকে যাতে অ্যাড করা যায় এই জন্য ফিড পাম্প থাকে কেমিক্যাল ফিডিং পাম্প থাকে তারপরে বিভিন্ন অ্যারেঞ্জমেন্ট থাকে সেই সেটা নিয়ে এসে এখন কথা বলতেছে From there, it will be fed directly into our feed water tank. And the number one um, issue here is to make sure that the chemical feed is below the water level. Um, coming into the back of the tank, we have our preheater. We have our condensate return. We have our vent. We have our makeup system. And um, we recommend, again, having a set... पानी कमे तक अब पानी আরেকটা ড্রেন করা একটা বাল্ব যেমন আছে তেমনি ভাবে একটা সেফ ফিড ওয়াটারটাকে নিয়ে নেয়ার আগে কালেক্ট করার আগে একটা কুলার আছে এটা হচ্ছিল ফিড ওয়াটার কুলার খুব ছোট মাপের কুলার এটার কাজ হচ্ছিল ফিড থেকে যে স্যাম্পলটা কালেক্ট করে টেস্ট করার জন্য সেটার জন্য ঠান্ডা অবস্থায় কালেক্ট করতে পারে যাতে করে যে কালেক্ট করতেছে তার কোনো ক্ষতি না হয় বার্ন না হয় ইট কামস টু আওয়ার ব্লো ডাউন সেপারেটর Okay. Again, venting is very important. 
So is it as a five inch vent going up, a safe discharge to drain, and we have our cold water makeup to make sure that we're um, putting the water to the sewer at an allowable temperature. We have our surface blowdown. Just like the other blowdown, um, it's very important that this piping be well supported and discharged to a safe location. We have our main gas supply coming in. Okay, Because we're using um, a Roots gas pulse meter, we always install a strainer just for the protection of the, the meter. Yes, sir. We have a gas pressure gauge to make sure that we are in the proper uh, range <coughs> for operating gas pressure. Coming across leads us to our safety valve. Okay, notice the piping is discharging on the roof, okay, to a safe location where nobody can get scalded or burned. The last part that's the probably the most important part of the installation would be. I am going to I mean, Tame Jagat, Jagata, the Pulitan, the Goba, I will explain to you. Your chemical feed and water softening system. Okay, in this case, we have a duplexed water softener followed by a polisher, which almost guarantees a zero hardness leakage. For this system, we, re we require two brine tanks, the smaller one being for the polisher, the larger one being for our duplex softener. From there, it comes to our water meter, and we're feeding our chemical from our three drums based on a pulse signal that we will get from our water meter to our timer, to our pumps. And these are very easily adjustable by setting your stroke and your pulse rate. The last part in check would be our colorimetry unit. Um, currently, our colorimetry units will be set up for sampling on an hourly basis, which will guarantee um, reliable service. Some quick checks that we're going to do on the system before the <laughs> boiler is actually started is number one, we want to make sure we got a good supply of salt in both our brine tanks, okay? Not only for the polisher, but for the main softener as well. From here, before we put water into our feed water tank, we want to do a manual uh, hardness check just to make sure that everything is operating the way it's intended and that the regeneration is not needed. On our chemical level tanks, uh, number one, we want to make sure that we have enough chemical, okay, easily checked by just giving a little bit of a shake. Uh, we want to make sure that all our three pumps are primed, okay. If priming is needed, um, all we really do is open up the little vent hole on it and very simple, it'll just vent back into the tank. From there, we're going to go to the colorimetry and again, a very simple check is just to put it through a manual test simply by pressing the manual monitor and waiting a minute or two for the results. If everything there checks out as um, recommended by Mira, the next step would be to fill the tank and proceed from there. One final step we're going to do before we actually fill our feed water tank is we're going to do a manual check. Soft water, I'm not putting in Jesha Pani de Capuchi for two week high Jabar Kurigula, and hard water a kick hake, within the Rokomer salt, dissolve of a stat hake. Is solvula panite take a within the Rokomer, uh, within the Eclerke, Pani impurities for a jagula, within the Rona Kutikore, even boiler a ketle jetaha, egula boiler sheller mute, uh, deposit to a hard layer to recorre. Tahon. A boiler guy crack the cabe, he trust for a bada for fuel consumption boiler, bereja or corrosion of bereja. Our Kisuase, Jigula soft salt, Jigula boiler guy left the Takena, 
যেগুলোকে আমরা ব্লো ডাউনের মাধ্যমে ইজিলি রিমুভ করতে পারি তাহলে এই সমস্ত যে হার্ড ওয়াটার যেগুলো এই পানির হার্ডনেসটাকে দূর করে দেওয়ার জন্য এখানে একটা মেকানিজম আছে এবং এখানে কিছু কেমিক্যাল ট্রিটমেন্টের ব্যবস্থা আছে এবং এই জন্য কেমিক্যাল ফিট পাম্পও আছে এবং এখানে টেস্টেরও ব্যবস্থা আছে সেগুলো নিয়ে এসে কথা বলতে আমরা পরবর্তীতে বয়লার ফিট ওয়াটার টেস্ট এবং কেমিক্যাল ট্রিটমেন্ট নিয়ে যখন পড়ব তখন এই ধাপটা আর একটু ক্লিয়ার হবে of uh, the water quality. So a very quick uh, hardness test. Number one, we're just gonna get a quick sample, let it flush out for a second or two, make sure it's fresh. Quick rinse of the bottle. And what we're looking for is a 25 milliliter sample. We're gonna put in five drops of a hardness buffer. followed by one scoop of a hardness powder. The results should turn a blue, which indicates uh, no water hardness and the uh, water quality with, is within mirror specs. And the results are uh, soft water. One final step that um, is recommended before turning the power on to the boiler is um, checking all your wire connections. Very simple to check your terminal bar. Just by pulling on the wires, you're able to see any loose connections that are gonna come back to cause a problem later. On our other terminals, which are more of a screw type, okay? Again, it's recommended that they be thoroughly checked and any repairs made in at that time. Takes us down to our water pump fan motor contactor and circuit breakers. Number one priority here is to make sure that uh, number one, the wires are tight, is secured. Number two is that the amp rating of the circuit breaker matches the nameplate rating of the water pump and fan motor and set it accordingly. Before we turn our, our boiler on, what we're going to do next is we're going to check our rotations of our fan motor and water pump. A quick, efficient way to do that is simply by bumping our motor after all the wire connections have been checked to make sure that everything is nice and tight and looking at our impeller on one end or our, our motor cooler on the other. স্টুডিও আমরা আলাপ করি তো এই পর্যন্ত যতটুকু দেখলাম এখানে কার কি কোয়েশন আছে তোমাদের এখানে কোন কোয়েশন আছে কিনা এই যতটুকু দেখলাম এর ভিতরে নাকি পুরোটাই ক্লিয়ার হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ অবশ্যই আছে যেমন একটা হচ্ছিল যে তোমার এই লেভেল গুলো যদি বেড়ে যায় তখন তোমার ব্লো ডাউন করে দিতে পারো ব্লো ডাউন করে দিলা আবার তুমি পিওর বা ডিস্টিল ওয়াটার ফিড ওয়াটার ওখানে মিলা তাহলে লেভেলটা কমে যা কমে আসবে তারপর আবার টেস্ট করলা দেখলা কি পরিমাণ আছে প্রয়োজন অনুযায়ী আবার একটা রুটিন করে নিলা যে আমরা ডেলি এত লিটার করে বা এত টুকু করে পানি সকাল বিকাল আমরা কি করবো ব্লো ডাউন করবো 
যদি অতিরিক্ত পরিমাণে ক্লোরাইড বেড়ে যায় না আর নিচে যদি দেখো যে মার জাতীয় জিনিস কাদা টাদা জিনিস আসে তাহলে তোমার নিচ থেকে আমরা যদি ব্লো ডাউন করি এগুলো এমনিতেই কমে যাবে আর পানির ক্ষেত্রেও আমাকে শুধু যে এটা তো একটা হচ্ছিল যে রেমিডি হম এটা কাজই করতে তোমার ভালো লাগবে কারণ গুলো তো আমরা গতকালকে ব্যাখ্যা করছি যথেষ্ট করে ব্যাখ্যা করছি হয়তো তুমি ছিলা না ক্লাসে আজকে আবার করে দিব অসুবিধে হ্যাঁ তো এখন আমরা যেটা বলবো এখানে এত আওয়াজ কি কি স্টার্ট দিল আওয়াজ যেটা বলতেছিলাম তো ব্লো ডাউন এটা তো করলা কিন্তু তোমাকে অবশ্যই জানতে হবে যে কেন ক্লোরাইড বেড়ে যাচ্ছে ইউ মাস্ট হ্যাভ টু ফাইন্ড আউট দা কজ যে কেন ক্লোরাইড বেড়ে গেল আমরা বলছিলাম যে কন্ডেনসার অ্যাটমোস্ফেরিক কন্ডেনসার এখানে সিওটার দিয়ে কুলিং হয় তাহলে এটা একটা সোর্স যে তোমার এখানে কোনো টিউব লিক করে সিওটা চলে আসতে পারে এবং এটা যদি হয় এটা দ্যাট ইজ এ ফ্যাটাল এটা অবশ্যই রিমিডি করতে হবে আর নয় শুধু ব্লো ডাউন করে তুমি পার পাবা না বা শুধু কেমিক্যাল ট্রিটমেন্ট করে পার পাবা না দুই নম্বর হচ্ছে তুমি যে ফিড অর্ডারটা নিচ্ছ সোর্স অফ কালেকশন কোথা থেকে তুমি সংগ্রহ করতেছো দেখা যাচ্ছে যে তোমার এই ফিড অর্ডার তুমি সংগ্রহ করছো পোর্ট থেকে শোর থেকে ওখানে পানিটা টেস্ট করে নিতে হবে ওখানে কন্ট্রোল করতে হবে তোমাকে যেন তুমি একটা পানি যেটা রিসিভ করলা সেটাতে ক্লোরাইড পরিমাণ না থাকে বা অন্য আদার ডিজর্ভ সোর্স এর পরিমাণ খুব কম থাকে বা না থাকে সেই ব্যাপারে কেয়ারফুল হইতে হবে তোমাকে পিওর ওয়াটার কি করতে হবে পারচেস করতে হবে তাহলে কতগুলা জায়গায় আমার সাবধানতার ব্যাপার হচ্ছিল যে ওয়াটার কালেকশনের ক্ষেত্রে আমাকে সাবধান হইতে হবে আমি যদি কিনিয়ে থাকি আমি যদি সংগ্রহই করে থাকি বা ক্লোরাইড এবং বিভিন্ন রকমের ডিজল্ভ সল্ট মার্ড ডাস্ট সহ তাহলে তো এটা ওখান ওইটাই একটা বড় কারণ আরেকটা হচ্ছিল যে আমার কোথাও লিক করে সি ওয়াটার চলে আসতে পারে এটা আরেকটা কারণ এসব বিভিন্ন কারণে পরিমাণ কি থাকে সোডিয়াম ক্লোরাইড থাকে এবং আরো অনেক ধরনের সল থাকে এটা একটা কারণ আরেকটা কারণ হচ্ছে যত বিশুদ্ধ পানি নি না কেন যেহেতু এই পানিটা বারবার ইভাপোরেট হয়ে যাচ্ছে কাছে নিচে একটু একটু করে হইলেও এই সল্টের পরিমাণ বাড়তে থাকে এবং এভাবে করতে করতে প্রতিবার আমাদের পানি ইভাপোরেট হচ্ছে শুধু সল্ট বা আদার ইম্পিউরিটিস গুলো ইভাপোরেট হচ্ছে না ওগুলো থেকে যাচ্ছে এইভাবে করতে করতে ইন এ লং টাইম এখানে আস্তে আস্তে এগুলোর পরিমাণ বেড়ে যায় এই কারণগুলো আমরা এক্সপ্লেন করছি গত ক্লাস গুলাতে আর রিমিটির ব্যাপারটা আমরা এক্সপ্লেন করি নাই রিমিটির ব্যাপার হচ্ছিল যে সোর্স অফ ওয়াটার এর দিকে খেয়াল রাখা ভালো পানি কালেক্ট করা নিয়মিত টেস্ট করা এবং কোথাও লিকেজ টিকেজ আছে কিনা সেগুলো খেয়াল রাখা এবং টেস্টের মাধ্যমে নিয়মিত কে কথা বলে আমরা কি করব বয়লার ওয়াটার আমরা পিওর বয়লার ফিট ওয়াটার কালেক্ট করার চেষ্টা করব তারপরে কোথাও কোনো লিকেজ বা অ্যাক্সিডেন্টাল মিক্স আপ যাতে না হয় সেটি খেয়াল রাখতো রেগুলার আমরা রেগুলার ইন্টারভেলে ফিড অর্ডার দিয়ে আমরা কি করব টেস্ট করব এবং কেমিক্যাল মেক আপ করব তাহলেই বয়লারে এই ধরনের ঘটনাগুলো কমে আসবে আর কারো কোনো কোয়েশন আছে এই যতটুকু আমরা ভিডিও দেখছি তার উপরে
ব্যাট উইক হয়ে গেল কেন হঠাৎ যখন বাপারিং করে তখন বন্ধ হতে চায় না তাহলে তোমাদের আর কোন কোয়েশন আছে কি নেটার উপরে তোমাকে আর কিছু জিজ্ঞেস করতে চাও না আমি অ্যাডভান্স হবো which indicates uh no water hardness and the uh water quality with is within mirror specs and the results are uh soft water One final step that um, is recommended before turning the power on to the boiler is um, checking Cheta hocche lo je bibhinno je connection gulo bibhinno electrical components gulo tader obosthan ba tara kemon ki condition e ache electrical wire gulo e gulo ekta check up korte hocche visually but very careful or dekho o mate helmet ache kintu hate tar hand gloves nai এবং যখন ইলেকট্রিক্যাল কোন প্যানেলে কাজ করবে তখন অবশ্যই ইলেকট্রিক এর জন্য তোমার সেই ধরনের উপযোগী হ্যান্ড গ্লাভস থাকতে হবে যাই করো খুব কেয়ারফুলি তোমাদেরকে ইলেকট্রিক্যাল এই প্যানেলে কাজ করার সময় কাজ থাকতে হবে যা সমস্ত সেফটি গুলা মেনটেন করে তোমাদেরকে চেক করতে হবে যেন কোন ধরনের দুর্ঘটনার শিকার না হও কিং অল ইওর ওয়ায়ার কানেকশনস ভেরি সিম্পল টু চেক দ্য টার্মিনাল বার জাস্ট বাই পুলিং অন দ্য ওয়ায়ারস ইউ আর এবল টু সি any loose connections that are going to come back to cause a problem later on our other terminals which are more of a screw type okay again it's recommended that they be thoroughly checked and any repairs made in at that time takes us down to our water pump fan motor contactor and circuit breakers Number one priority here is to make sure that uh number one the wires are tight is secured. Number two is that the amp rating of the circuit breaker matches the nameplate rating of the water pump and fan motor and set it accordingly. Before we turn our our boiler on, what we're going to do next is we're going to check our rotations of our fan motor and water pump. A quick efficient way to do that <coughs> is simply by bumping our motor after all the wire connections have been checked to make sure that everything is nice and tight and looking at our impeller on one end or our, our motor cooler on the other end for rotation just pick to back kore dekho ei je amar cursor ache eta holo fb fan ha batar supply deyar jonno thik ache তোমরা আসো তো নাকি কথা শুনতেছো এন্ড সিম্পলি জাস্ট বাই দ্য ডিজাইন ইউ আর এবল টু মেক শিওর দ্যাট দ্য ডিরেকশন ইজ প্রপার ফর প্রপার এয়ার ফ্লো প্রপার কম্বাশন um on a on a side note depending on the installation it's always good to have a second person help you 
check rotation of the water pump just for the fact that after you pump the motor, um, it's almost impossible to make it back to the pump to check the rotation. So always, in a case like this, a second set of eyes is always helpful. Okay, now that our uh, pre-checks have been done, uh, what we're going to do next is um, we're going to take the pilot out, we're going to fire the pilot outside, check its condition. What is pilot flame? Dekhi bolo dekhi tumga. No, uh, what is pilot flame? And what does mean by pilot flame? Bolo. Cable bar. Anyone? None. So tumga to ekhane kono question. Ita toke major genius tumga dekhe bolo chhe flame. Flame to tumra jano ekta method kati jalale je shikata hoy ba chulay je shikata hoy sheta chulo flame. The our pilot flame. Je to pilot flame asa thele misho yar ekta flame asa jeka main flame. Thale bujada chhe je e main flame chhe ekta burner thakbe thale pilot flame chhe ekta burner thakbe pilot burner thale bujada chhe je boiler e duicha burner thakbe duicha burner thakbe. Pato me pilot burner she pilot burner e mudhe sholpo akar e agun lagbe. Shikata to Riobe, flame got to Riobe. Above a flame tap or Becky, main burner, flame to the shy joke of the main burner a fire pipe. A con Buste or so. Clear? Yes, sir. So what a sad ticket response com. Nani just take a portion of the Sobami Polo, which a portion of the com response canoe. Video that is detected at Shona, Bono Gurigota. Shamne to the mother Shamne to boiler me, I shake a plaster on a Dutch and all my tenor. Particularly Jacob of a physical plaster of Toko, no one a boiler patchona. I want the cave away, Chubi Sajunitor. So response got to be cluster to Uwe Uwe Timiri, tenor. I mean, Bolegala to the ticket with response Nasha, the cave of a boost for the booster sutina. फायरिंगा एक तर डाउट हो जाता है पायलट फ्लेम की होती है ना इश्यो में अब देखिए इश्यो डाउट को लोग दूर कर चुके हैं अब देखिए कितना पायलट फ्लेम के चेक करता है हाउ टू चेक का पायलट फ्लेम शेटा इश्यो एक्सप्लेन करते हैं सर देख लो ऑन द बीएल बॉयलर द प्रोसीजर्स विद द बॉयलर ऑफ वी गोइंग गो टू आवर फंक्श Flip it to yes, back inside, back to our function switch, down position. And now we have our M flashing on our screen, plus the beep beep showing that we are in the maintenance mode. So once again with the boiler off, we're going to go to burner adjust. And we're just going to follow the on screen instructions. We're going to select pilot. We're going to press and hold to enter the data. From there, what we're going to do next is we're going to remove our pilot assembly.
পল্লকি পাইলট বান্নারটাকে ভিতর থেকে খুলে বের করে বাহিরে উপরের দিকে সেফ কন্ডিশনে এটাকে সেট করবে যাতে করে ফ্লেম ক্রিয়েট হলে সে দেখতে পায় প্রত্যেকটা যখন তোমার ফ্লেম ফেলিউর হবে পাইলট বার্নার ফেলিউর হবে লো অয়েল প্রেশার হবে লো এয়ার প্রেশার হবে যে কোনো ধরনের ইনসিডেন্টে যেমন ভাবে অডিও এবং ভিজুয়াল তেমনি ভাবে যে মেইন প্যানেল সেই মেইন প্যানেলে এরকম পি 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 পাসতে হবে আনটিল এন্ড আনলেস তুমি ওখানে পৌঁছাই ওটাকে রিসেট করা পর্যন্ত হাউজিং পারপাসেস For safety reasons as well, we are going to close our manifold gas valve. From this position, we are now going to start the boiler. Now we are doing a visual check of our pilot. And just by the condition of it, we can see that we are a little bit gas. You can see that the pilot burner is on fire. And you can see the ignition switch on. And the pilot burner is on fire. And the oil and supply is on fire. And the flame 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 is on fire. The test is on fire. Until and unless you are on fire. You can see the flame is on fire. যখন বয়লার সম্পর্কে ভালোভাবে বুঝে যাবা একটা বয়লার ভালোভাবে অপারেট করতে পারবা তার সেফটি সম্পর্কে এবং পার্সোনাল সেফটি সম্পর্কে বুঝবা ততদিনে তুমি থার্ড ইঞ্জিনিয়ার হয়ে যাবা তখনই তুমি এই টেস্টটা করবে থার্ড ইঞ্জিনিয়ার উইল ডু দ্য টেস্ট রিচ And normally on an LX that is the type of flame that we are looking for a nice crisp steady flame Hi everyone we are now going to continue on with the safety checks of the boiler Uh, the next alarm to be tested is going to be our high portion ta tomader oral e khub beshi beshi ashe tomader oral e khub beshi beshi ashbe ei portion ta ebong pura ta jibon chakri korte gele ei ongsho ta tomader bar bar kore kure kure ashbe bipri dekho ebong koto question ta amake bolba limit also known as emergency stop now this is one of the easier switches to test um what we will do is we'll just turn our operating pressure switch down below the uh, the pressure of the boiler with the alarm reset always remember to reset the pressure switch
and return the set point back to uh, the normal setting. <coughs> the next alarm that we will check now will be the low gas pressure. And this one is simple enough to check by shutting off the main gas supply once the main burner has been established. Once again, after the alarm has been silenced, slowly open the gas valve and proceed to your next alarm. In this case, uh, we will simulate high gas pressure switch next. And again, very simple to check. With the main burner on, we will simply close the manual ball valve on the manifold to simulate high gas pressure. And once again, with the alarm reset, don't forget to open up the main gas valve once again. The last alarm that we will simulate will be the air pressure. To, to uh, simulate that, we will simply turn off our breaker for our, for our fan motor and start the boiler. With the alarm reset and silenced, please engage the circuit breaker once again for proper operation. That is just a brief summary of how to test the safeties on Amira prior to boiler commissioning. Thank you. Um, one other test that we will do uh, for simulation will be the low water cutoff. We will trip the breaker of the feed water pump. Once the boiler is running, we will open up the bottom blowdown valve just to speed it up and to simulate a low water condition. After resetting the alarm condition, please close the blowdown valve. Turn the water pump breaker back on. And then you are free to proceed to the completion of your safety checks of the boiler. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, now that the safeties have been completed, our next step is going to be to uh, measure our gas differentials, 
our manifold and combustion. Now it is a normal procedure for Mira's um, recommendations that the uh, main gas orifice differential pressure be considered the most important and the manifold be used for a quick reference check only. So we will start with high fire first. Once high fire is established, we will quickly do a, a manometer check to make sure that our differential pressure is within range of that particular boiler model. Using a, a manometer, we're going to connect one side of the, diff of the uh, main gas orifice plate on the low side of the manometer. And we will connect the other side to the other port. And it'll give us our high fire differential gas pressure. Once our ga main um, high fire gas differential has been recorded on our uh, uh, commissioning report, we can simply disconnect one of our ports off our manometer and it will give us our manometer gas pressure. And again, once the recording has been done, we can move to a combustion test to make sure that the combustion including CO, NOx, and O2 is all within range. Okay, um, now that our gas pressures have been verified, that they are within specs of the Mira uh, recommendations, we're gonna proceed to the back of the boiler for a quick check of combustion. It's uh, highly recommended that uh, the analyzer probe not be inserted into the economizer chimney until the main burner has been established uh, otherwise, you risk the chance of very erratic uh, readings on your meter. <laughs> now that high fire has been established, Okay, after the combustion test, to make sure, uh, to verify that combustion, the O2, CO, NOx is all within mirror specifications, the exact same procedure can be followed for low fire. After putting the boiler in low fire hold, simply again, check your manometer, your differential, your combustion. In the case that combustion is needed, please use first your air damper, very clearly marked the low fire yeah. bolt is on the upper side, the high fire is on the lower side. And it's just a matter of turning it counterclockwise well, in the, in the matter of low the fire. Shot, turning the screw counterclockwise yeah. will lower your O2 or close the damper. Turning the screw clockwise oh. will open the damper or raise your O2. Okay, okay. No, 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 Hello. In the high fire position, it is opposite. With the alarm reset, don't forget to open up the main gas valve once again. The last alarm that we will simulate will be the air pressure. To, to uh, simulate that, we will simply Turn off our breaker for, for our fan motor and 
start the boiler. With the alarm reset and silenced, please engage the circuit breaker once again for proper operation. That is just a brief summary of how to test the safeties on Amira prior to boiler commissioning. Thank you. Um, one other test that we will do uh, for simulation will be the low water cutoff. We will trip the breaker of the feed water pump. Once the boiler is running, we will open up the bottom blowdown valve just to speed it up and to simulate a low water condition. After resetting the alarm condition, please close the blowdown valve. Turn the water pump breaker back on. And then you are free to proceed to the completion of your safety checks of the boiler. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, now that the safeties have been completed, our next step is going to be to uh, measure our gas differentials, our manifold and combustion. Now it is a normal procedure for Mira's um, recommendations that the uh, main gas orifice differential pressure be considered the most important and the manifold be used for a quick reference check only. So we will start with high fire first. Once high fire is established, we will quickly do a, a manometer check to make sure that our differential pressure is within range of that particular boiler model. Using a, a manometer, we're going to connect one side of the, diff of the uh, main gas orifice plate on the low side of the manometer and we will connect the other side to the other port and it will give us our high fire differential gas pressure. Once our gap main um, high fire gas differential has been recorded on our uh, uh, commissioning report, we can simply disconnect one of our ports off our manometer and it will give us our manometer gas pressure. And again, once the recording has been done, we can move to a combustion test to make sure that the combustion including CO, NOx, and O2 is all within range. Okay, um, now that our gas pressures have been verified, that they are within specs of the Mira uh, recommendations, we're going to proceed to the back of the boiler for a quick check of combustion. It's uh, highly recommended that uh, the analyzer probe not be inserted into the economizer chimney until the main burner has been established uh, otherwise, you risk the chance of very erratic uh, readings on your meter.
Now that high fire has been established, प्रयोजन एक बड़ बेपार हो आज कल एनभायरमेंट बेपार थे बतास इच्छा मत तुम शख स्नक्स छाड़ते पर जिसमेंटिंग टिक सब रिडिंग चले आसते Okay, after the combustion test to make sure uh, to verify that combustion the O2 CO NOx is all within MIRA specifications, the exact same procedure can be followed for low fire. After putting the boiler in low fire hold, simply again check your manometer, your differential, your combustion. In the case that combustion is needed, please use first your air damper. Very clearly marked the low fire bolt is on the upper side the high fire is on the lower side and it's just a matter of turning it counterclockwise in the in the matter of low fire turning the screw counterclockwise will lower your o2 or close the damper turning the screw clockwise will open the damper or raise your o2 in the high fire position it is opposite by turning the bolt counterclockwise you will open the damper clockwise you will close the damper to lower your o2 in the case of your manometer and your gas differential not being within specifications due to low gas pressure your main regulator will need to be increased to get to achieve the proper output of the boiler clockwise is increasing the gas pressure the counterclockwise will be decreasing gas pressure the final step in the boiler commissioning would to be record your pilot gas differential your pilot air differential and lastly your furnace pressure which will come in handy for future uh, troubleshooting and reference We'll start off with our pilot gas. Just like our main gas supply, we are going to measure our differential. So, our one hose here, we have before our pilot gas orifice. And our low pressure side of the hose is connected over to our pilot assembly before it goes into the main burner. our pilot air very similar once again we're checking the high side before the orifice and we can use the same hose as earlier going into the main burner 
the last measurement will be our furnace pressure, which can be taken directly off the wind box itself. In the um, uh, MI panel installation, okay, please note, very important, that the um, our pressure transducer not be mounted directly on your steam header, okay? Highly recommended that you uh, install a branch line coming off of your steam header, minimum half inch NPT, okay? Run it, again, properly supported throughout, coming down with a pressure gauge for calibration purposes. We have our transducer, which is controlling our MP1200, and lastly, a drain valve, either aimed to the floor, outside, to a safe area. And this will be needed um, yearly to flush out your line, just to maintain any corrosion problems that may exist inside the pipe. A last note on the uh, MP1 panel is um, the amount of dry contacts that are available uh, inside the panel already supplied. Um, some of them could be emergency stop, lump start, lump stop. Uh, they are numerous and they are there for the using. Video Beklam could be important at a video chill to mother chino. You do to mother response could be a pine. Into a cane she can motto on a gula bishoy chino. You give a back up video, give a back up while I start up a kiki bishoy gula check for the fire. Kun kun genish got to mother concern among kun components that a key kaje tarpore. এখানে কি কি সেফটি থাকে এবং সেই সেফটিগুলো কিভাবে ট্রাই করতে হয় এই জিনিসগুলো বুঝার ছিল এবং তোমাদের তারপরে ফ্লেম হাই ফ্লেম লো ফ্লেম পাইলট বানার মেইন বানার পাইলট ফ্লেম লো মেইন ফ্লেম এগুলো সম্পর্কেও তোমাদের যথেষ্ট পরি থাকা উচিত ছিল কিন্তু সেগুলো তোমরা খুব একটা অ্যাটেন্ড করছো বলে মনে পড়ে না হাওবার তোমাদের হয়তো একটু ডিসঅ্যাপয়েন্টেড আছো আজকে তোমাদের যে নোটিশটা আসছে যে অনলাইন ক্লাস হবে অনেকের অনেক হয়তো অনেক অসুবিধা আছে তো যাই হোক সবকিছুর ভিতর দিয়েই জীবন চলবে জীবনকে আগায় নিয়ে যেতে হোক